Hi, I'm Frederick and uh, I've been using Blender for a little over a year now and I've learned so much about it I wouldn't be able to use it at all if it wasn't for the Blender community so I decided to give something back and um, here is an idea of what we'll be creating creating uh, nice metallic looking chains with uh, depth of field okay let's get started first um, I'm going to delete the default cube and um, I'm going to add press spacebar add mesh circle um, switch to top view press uh, 7 on your numpad press G and then 5 which moves the circle 5 blender units into the X directions okay press tab to get into edit mode and make sure all your vertices are yellow press A until they all are if they're not then go to the um, editing buttons or press F9 and go to over here where it says spin for degrees you type in 360 and for steps you type in 32 then uh, it's important to change back into ta into front view because uh, the axis around which this is going to spin is actually um, depending on the projection of your viewport so if I press spin it's going to ask me which viewport I want to spin in and I'm going to select this one and we have a nice circle. Press A twice to select all the vertices. Press W and say remove doubles because the first and last are merged and um, they didn't. They don't need to be doubles. Press tab to get out of edit mode and press center new right over here which um, puts the, the, well the pivot point of this object was in the circle and now it's inside the bounding box of the ring okay so now click set smooth and you'll come up with a hideous result okay when I first thought of this I had no idea what was going on and I'm so glad I found it somewhere and um, I'm going to show you press tab to get into edit mode make sure all your vertices are selected press ctrl n and uh, confirm to recalculate the norms outside okay there you go now you have your smooth ring okay press um, this ring is really huge we need it to be a lot smaller so press S and then type in point 0.1 to scale the ring down to 10% 10 per 10 of its original size okay A to deselect it press add and say lattice now um, press S and scale the lattice up until it's bigger than the ring okay now we're going to add a modifier to the ring and that modifier, big surprise, is going to be a lattice. Um, this, the view, the transform properties you bring up with the letter N, and there it uh, tells you that the object name that you have right now is um, lattice of the selected object. You go, you uh, hold your mouse over the object um, panel, the object uh, field where it says lattice. Press Ctrl C. Then uh, right click to select the circle or ring, hover over the object of the lattice and press Ctrl V to paste it. Okay, um, now the lattice is actually um, taking an effect on the ring. And in order to do so, we'll increase the U, um, the points in, v, in U direction and the points in W direction both both three times so they're now both five Then press tab to get into the edit mode of the la lattice and then press B and uh, draw a box around these three lattice uh, vertices and that automatically selects the back vertices as well right here so uh, if you're working in orthographic view right in front it's always important to select all the ver Usually it's the easiest way to, to use box select because it will select everything behind it. If you just select these three, you're going to um, miss the latter two, but I guess that's obvious. So um, select them and push it down and it will then transform your ring. Do the opposite over here and since the ring is now having a hideous uh, crack or dent, we're going to select these. Always press A after you're done selecting so because if you have these selected and you press B and select these both are going to be selected and you'll get unwanted results so whenever you're done moving around press A press B again select these three push it down 
until you get somewhat of a regular uh, shape. You could definitely do a better job than I did right now, but uh, it's going to do for now. So after we're done, press apply, uh, select the circle, go to the editor, uh, to the modifiers panel and press apply, which makes the changes of the lattice permanent. Now right click on the lattice and delete it, we don't need it anymore. Okay. Now or select the ring, press shift D to duplicate it, press R, then X, then type in 90 to rotate it 90 degrees around the X axis. Then I'll move this over here and you can use your uh, this viewport over here to check if it's aligned correctly. And uh, you can, again, you can do a better drop than I did, but it's gonna do for now. Now select the, this one first and then hold shift and select the first one second and press Control J to join the selected meshes. Now this is one. Now the fun starts. Press A to deselect it and add spacebar add curve busy curve. Press R, X and 90 so we can see what the curve is doing. Okay, you can scale it up already a little. Press S and move your mouse. The exact length doesn't really matter right now. Press tab to get into edit mode <coughs> and only select the left vertex here including the two handles. It'll do that automatically. Press R and hold down control to rotate it in steps until you see a flat line. Okay. Now um, add a modifier that is called array. An array will come uh, will uh, make duplicates of your of your objects and align them in the matter that you uh, tell it to. We could increase the count of the objects, but that's not really. Um, that's not really a, an elegant way to do it. What we'll do is we'll say uh, fit to curve length and surprise the curve of course is going to be the curve that we just created. In the objects panel you see in the transform properties you see the object is called curve. Hover over this with your mouse, press Control C and for the curve field down here press Control V. Now it's supposed to fit the length of the curve but nothing happened. Why is that?